Yes. Meteorologist so. Cecily Tadden here. Are we done with the rain and the clouds? Uh, for tonight, we are. Oh, However, great. we've got another system on the way. We asked for You've rain, always got another you know? system. <laughs> it's coming our way. Storm Tracker 6 Live showing that right now, though. Monica, look at this. Okay. That looks, looks much better. Everything has cleared out after a, a microburst in Delaware yesterday, a tornado in Chester County. Adam Joseph will have more at that at 6 o'clock tonight. Right now, let's go live on Sky 6, taking a look at the scene, the Setter City skyline. And yes, clouds are breaking for some sunshine as a first round of rain is moving out. Officially at the airport right now, the temperature is 79 degrees down from a high of 80. Humidity is still up there, 67 percent, but they will be dropping overnight. Barometer 29.65 and falling. Winds out of the south at 16 miles an hour. The ocean temperature right now is 74 degrees. Well, the AccuWeather light up showing that things are calming down tonight. However, we are tracking some tropical rains on the way by tomorrow night. And we really do need it. The past three days, we've been getting the showers, but really not amounting to much. Philadelphia, 0.31 inches. Allentown, 0.66. Wilmington, about a half inch, even with a damaging thunderstorm today. Millville, a little more than an inch. Mount Pocono, though, winning with close to two inches of rain. Right now, it's warm, it's humid. 81 degrees in Wilmington, 80 in Dover, Trenton, 78 degrees, Allentown, 79, Mount Pocono, 72, and Reading, 79 degrees. Well, Satellite 6, along with Action Radar, showing that the system that brought us a tornado watch that was canceled this afternoon is shifted a little bit to the east, and you can see how things are clearing out. But this is a train of moisture that extends down through Florida and actually into the Caribbean, where we do have have tropical depression number 16. This could become tropical storm Nicole. Right now, maximum sustained winds 35 miles per hour. It's moving to the north northeast at 10 miles per hour. It's 330 miles south southwest of Miami, Florida, and they do have tropical storm warnings already in effect for southeastern Florida. And this system is going to be riding up the coast. Future Tracker 6 showing tomorrow during the day. We're fine. The rain by about 5 o'clock reaching as far north as Virginia. But overnight tomorrow into Thursday night is when this rain will move in. By Thursday morning, the morning rush hour, we do have some bands of heavy rain over us. And then as we head into the afternoon, looks like the heaviest bands will shift a little bit farther to the west as that system tracks through central Pennsylvania. And then finally, it will be moving out by Friday. But by then, we're talking about some really heavy rain. The potential for flooding rains, especially in the northwest suburbs where we're expecting about three to six inches of rain. These are preliminary rainfall estimates around Philadelphia areas south and east, one to three inches of rain. And also this system could bring us some severe thunderstorms with the potential for some damaging winds. So it's definitely going to be rocky on Thursday. So we've got that tropical connection with heavy rains, the potential for flash flooding, and the potential for gusty winds, perhaps even some tornadic activity. So it's going to be busy on Thursday. Tonight, though, we're in between storm systems. So mixture of stars and clouds. Humidity will be dropping in the overnight hours. Overnight low 56 in the suburbs, 62 for Center City, and the exclusive AccuWeather seven-day forecast. Tomorrow, not a bad day. Lots of clouds, more clouds and sunshine with a high of 75 degrees. Tomorrow night through the day on Thursday, we're talking about that tropical, potentially flooding rain, 78 degrees. Friday, the return to sunshine, 74. And looking at the weekend, it'll be a dry weekend, but it's going to be cooling off. Saturday for the Philadelphia Union game, 67 degrees. Sunday for the Eagles game, it's going to feel like football weather, 64. And then temperatures begin to rebound by Tuesday with a high of 70 degrees. So quiet tonight, but more rain's on the way, a lot more rain on Thursday in the system. Hmm. Thank you, Cecily. All right, thank you, Cecily.